We will start by creating an extension of the concrete base on the lower level of the skate park. Using the arc, rectangle, and split tools, we will create the base shape of the extension. Then we will use the push spool and project tools to complete the extension. Let's start by making the concrete base class the active class. Switch to a top plan view and center the drawing over the lower level of the skate park. Activate the arc tool and enable the tangent to line mode. Start the arc by clicking on the right end of the curved bank where it intersects the edge of the concrete base. Move the cursor up at a 30 degree angle until the length field in the floating data bar is about 4 and click a second time. Move the cursor up to the left at a 30 degree angle until the length is about 3.5. Click one more time to complete the arc. Next, place the cursor on the edge of the concrete base at the location shown here. Click once to start another arc. Move the cursor up and to the left at a 45 degree angle. When the length is about 4.5, click again. Acquire a smart point at the end of the first arc. Move the cursor to the right along the extension line. When the Smart Cursor Q 30 degrees slash Align V is visible, click once more to complete the arc. Activate the Rectangle tool and enable the Center to Corner mode. Acquire Smart Points at the end of each arc. Find the midpoint between the two Smart Points. Press the G key to set a datum. Tab into the floating data bar. Set the length to 3.5 and press Tab to set the length. Click once to start the rectangle. Move the cursor down and to the right. Acquire a smart point at the edge of the arc on the right. Move your cursor to the right along the extension line until it is slightly wider than the two arcs. Click once more to complete the rectangle. Now let's use the split tool to split the rectangle into two polygons. Activate the split tool in the basic palette. Enable the point split mode. Place your cursor over the end of the left arc. When the Smart Cursor Q arc end appears, click once. Make sure the rectangle is highlighted in red. Use the previous and next buttons if needed and click OK. Repeat this action for the intersection of the rectangle and the right arc end to create a separate segment between the arc ends. Select the two arcs and the outer polygon segment and go to Modify Compose. Select the middle trim segment and delete it. Next, we will extrude the polyline and use the project tool to connect it with the concrete base. Switch to a left isometric view. Select the polyline and check the closed option in the object info palette. This will draw the final segment and create a closed polyline. Using the push pull tool, extrude the face of the polygon to a distance of 0.3. Activate the Extract tool, then using the Extract Surface mode and Create Planar Objects option to extract the vertical face of the extruded polygon that faces the concrete base. Now activate the Project tool, then using the Add and Add Upwards mode, project the extracted face of the concrete base. Select the Extrude and the Projected Generic Solid and go to Model Add Solids. Finally. Give the extension the same gray fill color as the concrete base. We will now use the Create Roof command to create a roof for the gazebo. First, create a new class named Gazebo and make it the active class. Switch to a top plan view. Activate the rectangle tool using the center to corner mode. Find the center of the rectangular gazebo area using smart points and create a rectangle with a delta X and delta Y of 2.75. With the rectangle selected, go to Model, AEC, Create Roof. In the Create Roof dialog, set the thickness to 0.18, the roof pitch to 20 degrees, uncheck Retain Original Objects, and then click OK. Now switch to a back view. You will see the roof is laying on the ground. Click on the peak of the roof and drag it up. 
tab it to the floating data bar, set the length to 5, and press enter or return twice. Switch to a left isometric view, and give the roof a dark gray fill color. In the Object Info palette, check on the Insert Soffit option, then click on the Soffit Settings button. In the Edit Soffit Settings dialog, set the trim depth to 0.65 and click OK. Next, we will insert a fascia. In order to insert the fascia, we need to first adjust the eave setting. In the Object Info palette, choose Square Cut Miter from the eaves menu. Now check the option for Insert Fascia and click the Fascia Settings button. In the Edit Fascias Settings dialog, set the fascia width to 0.15, the fascia height to 0.1, and then click OK. We will use the Extrude command, Project Tool, and Duplicate Array command to quickly create four posts for the gazebo. First, let's create a base for the post. Switch to a top plan view. Activate the Rectangle tool and enable the Corner to Corner mode. Click once on the inner top left corner of the gazebo roof, tab into the floating data bar, set the delta x to 0.6, make sure the delta y is negative 0.6, and press enter or return twice to place the rectangle. With the rectangle selected, go to Model, Extrude, and set the extrusion to 0.15. Switch to a left rear isometric view, and in the Object Info palette, set the Z of the extrude to 0.3. Draw a rectangle on top of the extrude using the center to corner mode and with the automatic working plane active. Tap into the floating data bar, set the X to 0.15, make sure the delta Y is 0.15, and press enter or return twice to place the rectangle. Using the project tool, with Add and Add Downwards modes enabled, project the rectangle to the roof. Note, if you press the B key to activate the X-ray select mode, you will see the top of the post conforms to the shape of the inside of the gazebo roof. Select the post and the base, go to Model, Add Solids, and give the combined object a turquoise fill color. Switch to a top plan view. With the post selected, go to Edit Duplicate Array. In the Duplicate Array dialog, set the Shape menu to Circular Array. Then set the number of duplicates to 3 and the angle between duplicates to 90 degrees. Choose Next Mouse Click for Circle Center Point, check the Rotate Duplicates option, and enable Use Duplication Angle. Finally, make sure Retain is checked under Original Object and click OK. Click once in the center of the roof to duplicate the posts around the gazebo roof.